Welcome back. The second run of the Pomdamu Poetry Slam will premiere on Calabash TV following the CDV News tonight. Uh, well, we're finding out who will join Kentus Augustine, a teacher at the SD Academy, into the final. There were two new entrants for the second preliminary contest, which took place uh, on Tuesday at the Central Library. Both made strong bids for that single spot into the finals. First, let's hear from Liz Faisal a piece with a piece entitled, I Am Poetry. This followed earlier pieces done in Creole. Poetry. You are nothing without me. Without my nonsensical feelings wrapped up in the pen I clutch with my fist, splashing onto the sheet, the mimicking ink that spills out my lyrics, the thoughts snatched out of my cerebrum and the sculpted masterpiece crafted with intense concentration. You are nothing without me. Ain't nowhere in this world you'd be if you hadn't slid your hands up my mind's dress as we echoed soft silhouettes of thoughts and clear in distant corners of the horizon. And me, putting down the rhythm of how good it felt when you made love to me, penetrating my flesh and gyrating inside me, my brain filled with words from the high of cocaine implanted and rooted in the blood flowing through my veins, becoming addictively insane. Oh, poetry, you have no idea what you've done to me. And while you brainwashed me till I made sense of every stanza as they came all over this blank piece of paper, it was me carving poetic librettos to a language you and I decipher. If it wasn't for the creative thoughts perfected by perfecting you, the emotional connection acquired with some perplexity seeping through, the effortless efforts of this lyrical intervention that you are susceptible to, there would be no you. There would be no metaphorical finesse to connect my rhythmical sonnet. There would be no rhythm in rhymes released as I deliver my poetic bliss. There would be no drowning deluge of words swimming upstream as they flow fruitfully, vivaciously. There would be no you without me. No me combining delicious ingredients of thoughtfulness eloquently. No me expressing expressions, jotting emotions incessantly. No poetry. No turning life to color with intellectual excellence painted on canvas with the evidence of my presence reflecting the words I utter. So a strong challenge for Liz Faisal came from Maureen Popo, a resident of Babano. Maureen presented poems that address cultural taboos and some emotional issues. Here's one of her offerings. Piercing your three-inch heart with a nine-inch sword, when all that was done was cut the umbilical cord, for life was something I couldn't afford. I felt your claws scratching within my tummy, so I got rid of you, but more of me. Feeling you going up towards my throat, I wanted to gag. The blood I cried out just made me sad. Knowing that I'll pull you down, you climbed up. Scared for your life, wish I could see the fear in your eyes if only developed. And I'm sorry, but your mistake, something close to bad luck. Unfortunately, your father's the one who's corrupt because all he gave me was 300 bucks. You know, the definition of a man who doesn't give up. Screaming through the soundproof walls of my blistering soul. You not even heard. But somehow I feel like my eardrums would burst. Apologizing and begging for a second chance when you never had the first. You see, if only I kept the money in my purse, the situation wouldn't get worse. Happiness is now going reverse from bad to worse. And I keep hearing your voice repeating the same verse. And you said, Mommy, I'm sorry. Are you mad because I keep kicking your tummy? Or is it because I'm getting a bit too heavy? Because I promise I won't eat. So I become your perfect little anorexic baby. Mommy, your heart is getting cold. So is the knife scratching my unborn soul. Mommy, why don't you love me? You see, heaven must have kidnapped the sun because all I see is darkness around. Forgiveness yet to be found. I guess now I'm the talk of the whole town because they could still see the remains of your flesh dripping from me and falling to the ground. The blood painted an image of a mother who would never be crowned. My shameless eyes spoke out loud. 
And your fetus is clinging onto my back every step I take. And every day, a hundred is added to the weight. Your grudge is so heavy, I can't even walk straight. And I know it's too late to start with a clean slate. So, who will win? Find out immediately after the news. And that is the Pomdamu Poetry Slam 2014 edition, produced by Pomdamu Creations. The Pomdamu Poetry Slam is held every Tuesday at the Central Library from 7 p.m. Here are the other uh, competitors, Gregory Glasgow, Kerr Glasgow, McGregor Emmanuel, and Shana Shabati. So stay tuned for that. And with that, we come to the end of the CTV News. When I say thank you so much for watching on Calabash TV and for listening to us on the Wave Radio Night 4.5. I'm Lisa Joseph, saying goodbye.